U.S. intelligence considers Russia biggest foreign threat to election in America. Foreign adversaries of America may try to influence the upcoming U.S. elections. According to U.S. intelligence agencies, innovations in artificial intelligence on the Internet can be used to spread disinformation. This, in turn, could mislead voters and undermine confidence in democracy. At the same time, U.S. intelligence agencies consider Russia to be the most active foreign threat to the U.S. election, with China and Iran also on the list. This year, Russia remains the most active foreign threat to our elections, using a vast multimedia influence apparatus encompassing state media, intelligence services and online trolls, Russia's goals including eroding trust in U.S. democratic institutions, exacerbating socio-political divisions in the United States and degrading Western support to Ukraine, says U.S. Director of National Intelligence Avril Haines. U.S. elections face more threats than ever from foreign actors, enabled by rapid developments in artificial intelligence intelligence, the country's top intelligence official told lawmakers. Federal, state and local officials charged with protecting voting integrity face a diverse and complex threat landscape. Avril Haines told the Senate Intelligence Committee at a hearing about risks to the 2024 elections, but she also said the federal government has never been better prepared to protect elections. Thanks to lessons learned since Russia tried to influence voters in 2016. In addition, she said the rise of new AI technologies that can create realistic deep fakes, targeting candidates and of commercial firms through which foreign actors can launder their activities are enabling more sophisticated influence operations at larger scale that are harder to attribute. Earlier, US intelligence revealed that the Russians had stepped up their disinformation campaign against Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. The city of Sevastopol in occupied Crimea came under a missile attack overnight on May 15, with Russian media outlets reporting explosions and fires. Russian air defense units repelled a massive attack against Sevastopol overnight on May 15, the Russian-installed head of Sevastopol, Mikhail Razvozaev, claimed via telegram. Wreckage of an intercepted missile hit private businesses, Razvozaev said. No casualties have been reported. Explosions were heard in the city and fires are still burning near the Belbek military airfield, local residents told the Russian telegram news channel Astra. Astra reported, citing local residents, that there were about 20 missiles, and that something is still burning near the Belbek airfield. Some 10 atoms were unleashed on the annexed peninsula in a massive attack. Despite the claims, Ukrainian monitoring group Crimean Wind reported, an hour after the end of the missile attack on the Belbek airfield, the number of fires in the aircraft parking area became many times larger. And the fires themselves became stronger. In an effort to bolster defenses against Ukrainian drone attacks, the occupiers have reportedly installed barricades across Sevastopol Bay. Authorities reportedly shut down traffic on the Crimean bridge amid the missile attack. Ukrainian forces previously attacked the Belbek airfield with scalp storm shadow long-range cruise missiles on January 31, damaging at least three Russian military aircraft. In recent months, Ukraine has intensified its attacks on occupied Crimea, targeting Russian military assets in and around the Black Sea. At the beginning of April, according to satellite images, there were many enemy aircrafts at this airfield. We are talking about 30 Russian planes and helicopters. Among them are 10 Su-27-30, 4 MiG-31, 6 MiG-29, 3 L-39, 4 Mi-8, 2 Ka-27-29, 1 Su-25. In addition, the airbase has approximately 15 hangars where enemy aircraft can be hidden.